Hello my friends, this is Sandstorm here from Minecraft Cod and Crap, and today I am sharing with you guys the information on the next major title update or content update for next gen consoles. As all of you more than likely know, PlayStation and Xbox Minecraft recently received a major update known as either Title Update 19 or Content Update 7, which we received withers, witches, horses, you know, that sort of thing. Now let's get right down to this. Uh, we won't see another major update like that for quite some time, but before I give you a time range, I will tell you what we can expect in this next major update. Now this is nothing concrete as in Title Update 19 we saw three major PC updates in one, which was 1.4 through 1.6. Now I can nearly guarantee you we will at least see the equivalent to the PC's 1.8, which includes several new biomes, the Meso Biome, which is like an Australian Outback sort of thing. It has has red sand, hardened clay, all that, and we already have um hardened clay, and I don't we don't have red sand yet, but we'll see that if we get that, and we can collect it in survival without having to put it in a furnace. We will get the root forest, which is like a huge room above ground where monsters can spawn, and it's dark, and the it's a forest, but it's completely roofed over with the leaves. And there are huge mushrooms in this forest. And it kind of feels like Mario or something. And in this biome we can get a new kind of wood. It's like a darker version of spruce known as dark oak wood. And we will also see something like a birch forest. Which is exactly like a normal forest. But with nothing but birch trees. Which will be great if you want to build a house out of birch. Or something like that if you like birch. We will have the savanna. Which is just like an African savanna. Basically, you know, like in Lion King. Basically, which offers you a new type of wood known as um, Axia. Axia, something like that. And uh, villages can be in that new biome. So that would be interesting. I know right now villages can only be in grass biomes and deserts. Oh, and I, um, we're also going to get the snowless taiga, which is just like our standard normal taiga with, you know, the tall spruce trees and all that, but, you know, snowless, so, just like that, but imagine it, like, a naked taiga biome, basically, no snow. We will also see three new fish, the salmon, clownfish, and pufferfish, uh, which I think will be amusing, plus pluff. Puffer, puffer fish give you water breathing potion, so you can make that for breathing underwater. And last but not least, one of my favorite things to be in this update, stained glass, which you can decorate glass, make maybe in a church or something. Uh, you craft it from a normal glass with dye or in a crafting table or something like that. To do It has to do with dye, and so don't quote me on that. I think you just craft it in a crafting table out of normal glass. You might put it in a furnace or something. I don't know. So, plenty of wonderful additions This uh, that will appear to be a great update. So, the time range, we will see this come out. Hate to say it, but it looks like it will take some time, actually. Considering that 4J will have to work on bug fixes for the previous update for a while, and then the actual working on this actual update, I would say we may see this go live sometime around when the new Call of Duty game comes out. So, about September 2015 to December 2015, so it'll be a while. We're going to see a lot of um, bug fixes from Title Update 19 or Content Update 7. I also assume that this update will be known as Title Update 24 or 25, something like that, and Content Update 12 or 13. So that's all I can say for now. Drop a like, subscribe, and thank you for watching.